Well, this looks like a mess, but actually it'll create steam. We're going to be talking a little bit about electric boilers today on The Boiling Point. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm with Daniel Ware, Operations Manager at Ware. We have talked a little bit about the Fire 2 boiler, which is a gas-fired boiler as well as oil fire. And I thought today that we'd actually take a look at an electric-fired boiler. Now this unit has actually come back to the shop, so it's in a little bit rough condition. Um, it's actually out on a rental fleet, uh, but we can get a good look inside, we feel like, to be able to see how these boilers work. So Daniel, why don't you take us through the boiler and kind of tell us a little bit about how these actually work. Okay. Uh, this is a conventional as a, you know, an electrode boiler, whereas uh, your conventional boiler uh, has a Morrison tube and you have a fire going down the tube, okay? okay. This one uses electrodes as your heat source. Okay. So it can be set up and staged with banks. You have three banks on one side, four on the other. Okay. So depending on your heat load, uh, one bank may come on, second, and so on and so forth uh, to, to accommodate your heat load. So when you're saying bank, this is actually one bank, and this could be the only bank on in the whole boiler. That's correct. Which would be a smaller load. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about how big this boiler is. How okay. big is this? This is a 1500 kW. Okay. So that's about 150 horsepower. Okay, so how many kW per horsepower? There is 9.8 kW per boiler horsepower. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming the amperage load on this is pretty, pretty high. Oh, yeah. This is about a 1800 amp unit. Okay, so... Uh, and I had 460 four, volts. 460 yeah. volt, okay. Right. Um, so when these things come on, I mean, lights dim? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And, um, and again, 150 PSI design. That's correct. If I'm correct, correct. with that. Um, so each one of these elect or the wires then, they are actually wired to an electrode right. um, that is heating the water up. That's right. Getting us the steam pressure that we need. Right. Um, and, and again, capable of, of up to about 5,000 pounds per hour on, on this boiler. That's right. Okay. Why don't we walk around to this side over here and take a look about really about the, the brains of, not the brains, but where everything's hooked up. Okay. Uh, you know, what do you have in here? Uh, you have a tremendous amount of fuses. Uh, there's 39 contactors. Um, your main fuse, uh, your main block where you're bringing your, your power in okay. and, your, and your brain, if you will, your, um, what we like to refer to as your flame safeguard in a, in a fire tube boiler. Okay. All right. And this is what's doing the sequencing uh, to, and controlling your banks as they're staged and on coming each on. one of the banks. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I wanted to come over here and talk about this uh, electric boiler. This is actually a 21 horsepower electric boiler. Now something interesting as soon as I see is that the electrodes are in the front. Right. Um, as the other with the 150 horsepower unit, they were actually in the side. Sure. But I'm assuming everything operates the same. Yeah, um, it's all, all in the same. banks. It's just in, in, in the front here. Yeah. Um, but what you see here is an actual boiler room. Uh, we have a feed system, blow down system, and I wanted you to be able to see that this is a, a full boiler room right here because you actually need a, a, a feed system for an electric boiler. Is that correct? Sure, sure. Um, you're still going to have to feed water to the boiler mm -hmm. uh, just as you are over there. Um, you're still going to have to have a blowdown separator. The unit operates exactly the same as a Fire 2 boiler. Mm -hmm. uh, your high limit, your low water cutoffs, all of that works exactly the same. Um, where this is a really nice system is if you have space constraints or say you don't have gas or you don't have propane or number two fuel available. Mm -hmm. um, if you have uh, space constraints where you can't run a flu, uh, flu gas, right. then this works out well. Okay, so from an exhaust standpoint, there's obviously nothing. No so flu on this unit, So That's you correct. can be inside, no problem. Right. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, there's obviously applications for the electric boiler as well as for the gas boiler that you see in the background, um, but there's always an application for, for each boiler. And I want to make sure that you got to see the electric boiler, a little bit about how it works. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a great 2015. Appreciate Daniel stopping by and talking to us a little bit about the electric boiler. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and if you like our videos, please share them. Don't forget to subscribe to that YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.